You may assume that what I see is immaterial, but that's not what I see, and it's not what I believe. And I think I, I understand it's not what you there's believe. There's something in you that is more than you believe. I really think so. This is now, a, if you want if you want to make that if you want to make that a scientific claim, you can. But I'm telling you, it's a metaphysical claim, and to confuse the two is a mistake. Okay, you you can add any metaphysics you want. Thank you. In, in that, by that means, I mean I, I can say I, you know I see you as um, reincar a reincarnate personality, and I think you were probably uh, I was someone famous on Atlantis. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. mm -hmm. don't make um, me like a washerwoman in a pe previous people. Movie, so. People th do this all the time. I mean, you you can broadcast. I mean, this is this is constrained by our common sense in every other domain of discourse. I mean, just take for example the people who think Elvis is still alive. Okay. What, what's wrong with this claim? I mean, why is this claim not vitiating our academic departments and corporations? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll tell you why, and it's, it's very simple. We have not passed laws against believing Elvis is still alive. It just, it, the problem is that whenever somebody seriously represents his belief that Elvis is still alive, in a conversation, in, in, on a first date, at a lecture, at a job interview, mm -hmm. uh, he immediately pays a price. Yeah. 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 He, he pays a price in ill-concealed laughter. Right. Now, now, surely you can agree that, with him. That, that, that. that is a good thing. Now, he, now, then he could rattle on about, this is not a scientific claim. Uh, this is a matter of faith. You know, when I look at you, I, I see you, you might be Elvis. I mean, he, he, could, he could do this.